Hello there, how are you doing? In this video I want to talk about shipping and I think actually the key phrase here really is talk about because shipping's a funny old thing when it comes to online shops, you know. The very first time I made an online shop, I actually built the shop before finding the customer and I, I added this shipping system in and it was really cool and I headed to the customer and uh, they didn't want it. They were like, no, that's not how we do shipping. We want it to go this way, you know. And the funny thing about shipping, you know, is that you could build a hundred online shops for a hundred different customers and they will all have different ideas about how shipping works. Some customers do uh, shipping in accordance to item weight, right? So, They'll look at things like, uh, you know, like when you're adding an item, one of the things you'll add is the weight. Some will look at volume. Some will look at how much you spend. Some will add a shipping fee onto each individual item. Uh, there's a shopping cart that I may be doing for a client in a couple of weeks' time, and he does different shipping rates according to location. And I think his vibe is if you're in the UK, shipping's free, you know. Um, another shop that I worked on, it was the one I may have mentioned before that was supplying clothes for the Olympics. He had a really strange shipping system where the vibe was, uh, it was kind of this weird discount thing. And the idea was like if you spent £99, he'd, he'd have a little alert come, in, come up that would say, look, spend another uh, uh, £30 and we'll save you £5 off the cost of shipping, you know? And whatever you spent, it would adjust it, and it would do these kind of elaborate discounts and whatnot. Um, there are staggered shipping systems, so, you know, if you spend between this range and this range, it will cost X, this range and this range, it will cost Y, and so on. Now, the point is, there, there is absolutely no point, funnily enough, of us going through a shipping module and taking maybe an hour or something to write something and the chances are you'll never even have to use it anyway. So here is the key advice and this is kind of a peculiar video I know because it's mostly just talking. Here's a nice picture of a Jimi Hendrix Strat that we can look at, right? Um, the key takeaway as far as shipping goes is that you as a developer need to remain completely flexible. Uh, do, you know, when, when you get a client, I guarantee two things. One, that client is going to have very clear ideas about how they handle shipping, okay? I, I guarantee that. And the next thing is, there is no point in trying to talk them out of that, okay? So don't say, hey man, well I built this, why don't you do this shipping? That's very uncool. So when it comes to this part of the site, shipping, we must be like, you know, kind of like an empty book or something and we're just waiting to hear what they want. Now the good news is, if you have followed all these tutorials up until this point, you can do this stuff in your sleep. I guarantee whatever they give you, it will be considerably easier than some of the stuff that we've given you uh, so far. Shipping is actually pretty easy, so don't worry about it. It's going to be cool. Now, for the purposes of this video, and just so that we've got something to go by, I'm going to duplicate copy this, and I'm going to make the most rubbish shipping module ever. I'll call it shipping, right? And it's just so that we have, you know, some kind of semi-complete shopping cart here. And I'll rename this controller and I'll call it shipping. And we'll just do the usual here. Here we go, shipping. And I'm going to do the most basic shipping thing known to humanity. I'll do a private function called get shipping. And uh, it's just going to say shipping Ooji. shipping equals 0 0.01 you know return shipping and it's just so that I can test the thing okay so uh, there's my daily humiliation uh, that shipping as far as I'm concerned job done thank you very much now obviously in a real online shop you would have a thing in the admin panel 
uh, wherever it is, you'd have a thing in here with a link on the navigation on the left that says update shipping and you'd build a shipping module with tables and who knows what else, okay? We're not doing that because there is absolutely no point. You know, there's not even such a thing. The situation is so crazy, there's no such thing as like a standard shipping method or something. Everyone is different, everyone wants it done their own way and we're as well just not messing with it, okay? So that's shipping. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.